How's it going everyone? Venom Mystere here. Today I have a very special replay for you between two of my favorite players. They're both on route and they both stream. One is Vibe and one is Puck. And this I think is slightly old, like one patch back, so really no changes even happened as Vibe. Looks like he's actually scouting for proxies perhaps. Or maybe he's going to go proxy hatch and doesn't want a probe to find it. We might actually see some early action here. And I'm just going to follow this because in Camp Puck, he hasn't done anything yet. A vibe is a player who can do both macro and cheese well, as it looks like he might build a hatchery very close to Puck's natural. He's thinking, there it is. So proxy hatch from vibe, and let's look at Puck's vision. It's right over here, and there's no way he'll scout this, so he's even going to make a nexus first, and scout. Vibe throws a pool down right after us, so this indicates aggression to me. Vibe theoretically could have expanded again before pooling, but I think he'll be more aggressive here. Puck is a very good North American player as well. He's a guy who usually favors macro styles, I would say, but he's a very adept micro player. He's a player who plays Blink Stalker Disruptor styles, which that's mostly versus Terran, but I think that's one of the hardest army comps to control in the game, and he does it flawlessly. And he just scouted Vibe. He sees the, la the lack of hatchery, most importantly, but also his pool and the gas timing. He's also going to peak the third, say. So uh, where's your hatch? He's going to put a patrol command, so he'll see whenever Vibe takes his natural. Cybercore being put down for Puck, as well as the second gate. Puck is mining two in each gas, which is a nice little balance. Puck finally is going to see it here with the probe. Okay, he knows it's proxy hatchery, Cat's his teammate. And Vibe is making lings out of his proxied hatch. Puck is also scouting the main of Vibe, so Puck knows exactly what's happening. Still chronoing out workers two at a time. Probably get a mothership core as soon as possible, I would venture to guess. Vibe clears out the probe and makes his natural. Maybe he didn't get the probe after all. Puck with a nice reallocation of chrono boost here, pumping double adept. This is good because adepts d deal bonus damage to light units and they have high mobility. So oftentimes with adepts what you can do is preemptively shade and then go out and attack and then if you ever get surrounded or things turn hairy you have the shade to rely on. And if they don't, which oftentimes they don't, especially if you catch your opponent off guard, you just cancel the shade. Twilight cancel Council on the way for Puck, and no sentries on the way. So, Puck definitely handling this with more confidence than I would. This would terrify me. He, think, he thinks these adepts are going to do a lot of damage. But there is a queen here, as well as a ling or two. Puck kites back, gets a drone, gets a second drone, go for a third, he'll get a third, a fourth, a fifth. A sixth, a seventh, an eighth, and this queen is pumping away dutifully, but it's just not enough. Vibe's going to move his spine crawlers up as his creep moves up. Nine total, and Vibe is insanely far behind because Puck's been chronoing workers. Puck's also getting a DT shrine, and he's insanely far ahead in workers, I think, not overall on the game because he's knocking at the front door of Puck Toss here, and Puck only has, really, his Mothership Core and a few adepts for a while. There's the first Photon Overcharge. But what's tricky about Spine Carla pushes is they break your front door easily without ever committing, and most Protoss defense relies on Mizzou committing to defend, like this Mothership Core Overcharge, like Sentries. This kind of just stays away out of your reach. So this game's heating up, it's getting crazy. Three more gates on the way for Puck, another overcharge. The spine's not in range, but Vibe has high ground vision because of creep. 
and this is really bad for Puck. He doesn't have enough energy to overcharge. And with the help of this overload, the creep will get on the high ground, so Puck losing supply, a wall in, and potential for overcharge. Vibe running in the main here. Two units being worked in for Puck. They're in depths. Puck's going to start losing workers, and the DT Shrine finishes. Vibe, possibly the most important thing of all, seeing that that is a DT Shrine. Puck loses another pylon. He's doing a good job of continuously building though. He's not been supply blocked. Four spines moving up for Vibe. This is huge. Without a robo, Puck is going to have a hard time keep passing down these spines. He's going to pull his probes. There's a spore crawler here, mind you, so the DT can't save the Puck toss. More links being produced for Vibe. He's a little bit choked in here because of Legacy of the Void, spine crawler's wall. Vibe has energy for transfuse if he needs it, but it looks like he's going to win the fight. The spine crawlers are extremely powerful, guys, especially when you get this many. And Puck had already committed to ground units with this Twilight. The spore was huge for Vibe. Vibe, of course, is still on hatch tech. So if Vibe would have gotten a DT, game over. Really. Unless Vibe had a drone mining here, he could have made another there, but. Puck's going to run out with Adepts and possibly try to break this or maybe counterattack. The Adept Shade finishes, he might try to kill this third. <clears throat> this is an odd game. If we go to workers, they're about even again. Puck's going to hammer away at this third and probably phase forward, he does. More spines being rooted for five and the Mothership 4 overcharge on the way from Puck. Transfuse is going down. Nice job for Vibe. Probably wants to move the Spore Crawler up to ward off the Mothership for Looks like all four Spores are going to live. Meanwhile, Puck is harassing the natural of Vibe. He's going to probably kill most of his drones. But Ling's going in the base. Vibe is ready. Puck cancels them. Kills all the drones. Now the Shade is coming off a cooldown. Spine Crawlers still have not died for Vibe. He has the Spore on the little lip, lip at the bottom. Another creep tumor being moved forward. Here comes the Dark Templar. It gets one swipe, two swipes. Here comes the support for Vibe. He's rebooting. Puck's trying to kill Queens. He's scared of Transfuse, but finally the Spore reroots. And Puck is screwed in a way because he has to do with protection. Adept's running into main. Lots of things going on at the same time. Puck phases in, takes somewhat of a fight, but then phases away and escapes with about four adepts. He did kill lots of workers there. If we go to income, look, Vibe is down to 11. So Puck killed about, I would say, nine workers in that exchange, maybe 12. Another Mothership for Overcharge going down, but the Mothership for falls. Puck needs to remake another one. He's very low on money. He's lost his workers. Puck's going to run forward here. He has made one Archon since the Sport Crawler exists. The Archon, remember, does bonus damage to Bio. Heavy Zealot Meat Shield also is helping Puck, but this Archon's very low, it's back into a corner. Zealot on the way, and Puck manages to clean up what's rest, <laughs> what's left of Vibe in terms of mobile static defense. But Vibe runs in, he wants to get workers for his troubles. They both killed about the same workers, and they're about even again. So this game has been remarkable. Unfortunately, I don't think... Puck has been able to do the base damage that he's needed. He's really done a good job killing workers, but Vibe wasn't mining a lot of gas. He had three hatchery production to recover from. And Puck has creep in his base now, which by the way gives you vision. So Vibe pretty much knows what Puck is doing. Puck is running across the map with a solid amount of zealots and some centuries. But without upgrades, these zealots aren't going to be able to defeat this many lings, I don't think. And Vibe's just going to counter. DT, oh no, it's an adept. Puck might want to try DT here. Puck going in on the natural. Kills an overlord. He's going to kill the natural. Great move. Two more zealots being warped in for Puck. And he's going to lose lots of workers. But he is going to kill the natural of Vibe. The problem here. Vibe has tech to roach and has four spines. Puck doesn't even get to Base see that. But he also he already knows that this game is probably lost because of this third base and the fact that he doesn't have any units left really. 
There's two probes. Puck's probably going to try to run around and kill this base. <coughs> Puck actually defended well. It's just a very tricky push from Vibe. The thing is, is, is Protoss... It can be hard to expect what the transition will be from Proxy Hatch, Roach, Bane, Speed, Speedling, all of them. Or maybe he thought Vibe would make quite a few drones behind it. Who knows? But the game is very close. Both of these players stream, you should go follow their Twitch streams and their Twitters. Vibe's going to be virtually unkillable. He has a spore and four spines here at the top of his ramp. Vibe, <coughs> Vibe is teching to burrow. taking his natural. Puck has a little bit of protected mining here, but he really doesn't understand that Vibe has this much static ready. The hardest games to tell whether you're ahead or behind are these weird base trade games like this. Puck's going to try to go in. Good force fields, but there's too many spines. And Vibe's going to counterattack right as that happens. And Puck knows it's over. He GG's. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well for more.